What's up guys? I will merc you back again. I've got a game of regular team deathmatch on Karachi. And in the game today I'll be using the ACR silenced with the Spaz 12 with the grip as my secondary. Uh, claymores and stuns, equipment, and my perks are scavenger stopping power and ninja, all proed. And the kill streak loadout is the Predator Missile, the Harriers, and the AC-130. Um, I figure I'll talk about the gameplay a little bit in this commentary. You know, give you an idea of what I'm thinking, what I'm doing. And uh, I'm, I'm more of a defensive player. As you can, I mean, you know, scavenger with the claymore, silence weapon. You know, I try to stay off of people's radars. You know, engage people on my own terms and be able to watch my back with the claymores. So... We saw we spawn there on that side, and as we came up the stairs, I planted my claymore at the top of the stairs. Came up on top of this building, as you know, we all know that they spawn back there in that back corner, and they'll either be going around to the open building on my right or coming down this little alleyway, as you see here, as I pick a couple of them off. But, uh, you know, I just work the building tops back and forth, picking off people as I see them, you know staying low not just sitting out there in the open like some people do and there my claymore goes off i get a hit marker turn around fire hoping i might get the kill but um you know i throw the flash in there and instead of just blindly charging in because he's probably sitting down there with the shotgun just waiting to see me and you know blow my face off i decided to hop down here and come up behind him catch him off guard probably which i do so i catch a little knife right there but yeah, so I reset my claymore, you know, I know I've got my back watch. That is one good thing about this building is there's only one entry point from that way. And then the way that I'm focused on, there are, you know, the stairs to come up and then they can jump across from the other building. So I pick up a little double here with the Predator. But, so as long as you have your back watch there, you're, you're pretty set, you know. As long as you play tactically, you don't just sit out there in the open. And I do play with the tactical button layout. So it's a lot easier to go prone. As you see me, I kind of you know, hop up and down a lot. If I hear something, I'll just, you know, immediately go prone. But uh, here I'm just kind of playing it conservative. Let my Harry do the work until it gets blown up right there. But I thought I heard someone coming up the stairs, so I peeked down and just happened to see this guy running at me. He probably should have killed me right there, but I don't think he saw me. Um, so here, I think I'm about two kills. Yeah, I checked the score right there. I'm two kills off. I hear someone over in these windows. And pick up a little double spray for the AC. So, I always like to go back into a secure spot. Because sometimes, you know, I like to extend the streak after I get out of my chopper AC-130. Or sometimes I just immediately want to die and rinse and repeat. But I'm used to hiding somewhere try to prevent myself from dying or killing myself. I've done that quite a few times in AC-130 if I haven't hidden in an appropriate spot, but I don't know, because I've gone for a lot of nukes, you know, I like to go for nukes, I like to get nukes, and that's one of the worst things ever, like, to kill yourself in an AC-130 while you're going for a nuke, but either way, I had that happen to me once, I think, and since then I've been very cautious about where I hide. As you can see, most of you guys are camped in the building. I think I might have gotten five or maybe six kills at AC-130. Yeah, 17, six kills. You know, I'm, I'm not the best with AC-130. I've been practicing, trying to get better. I've, I'm pretty much a chopper gunner whore. I love that thing. I mean, yeah, it's overpowered, but it is, it's still insanely fun to use. I love using it. I love racking up kills, getting a team spawn trapped, and, you know. Yeah, I thought I saw some guy up there in the corner. But either way, like most of the time right here, I'm probably just going to run out and try to rinse and repeat. Um, right here I go prone. And this is one thing I haven't talked about yet. I can hear people up in the building and also on ground level. Like I have a Triton AX720 headset. And I can hear things very, very well. I hear footsteps, you know, claymores reloading, all kinds of things. So I can hear this guy coming right here as he pops around the corner. And uh, I still, I know that there's someone up in that building. I can hear him up there. So I'm just, I'm being cautious. I don't know. I mean, I want to die so I can restart my streak. But sometimes I just kind of have this battle within myself. <laughs> where I just kind of sit and wait. And I don't know if I want to keep the streak going. But yeah, there, I thought I heard some dude hop down. 
behind me, so I threw down the claymore, thinking I might get him, trying to chase me around the corner. <laughs> oh, excuse me. But, uh, I don't know. Here I get kind of lucky. That guy should have killed me again. Because I'm just kind of biding my time, waiting till someone kills me so I can start my streak over. Because I always have a hard time just running out and dying. But, anyway, I'm just taking it easy. Chilling in this building while I have no radar or anything to help me. Right here I lay down and try to check and see if I still have my map, but I don't, so... Just kind of blindly running around, and I should have seen that guy. I thought he ran into the building and didn't see him until the last second, but either way, it gives me a chance to restart my kill streaks. So since I'm on this side, this is another building that I love to, you know, stake out. You come up in here and you get good lines of sight. If if someone was up where I was at the start of the game on that building, most of the time, if you play smart enough and don't just run out into that window where they're looking, you pick people off as you'll see here shortly I think I get a couple like that but I'm not quite sure where they're spawning yet and then I see that guy up there pick him off see the other dude up top so I know that they're over in this part of the map so I'm in a good spot to be up here so I missed a couple I don't know I was shooting like the top of his gun right there no dice but pick him off and I see some dots over there on that bridge so I know that they're over there I want to jump down here plan to claim more watch my back Hop back up here and, uh, yep, like clockwork. Get that guy with the Claymore, Scavenger. And a lot of times I've gotten myself into trouble with that right there. Like immediately after someone dies, you want to jump down and get your Scavenger. You know, you want to get your Claymore back up. Sometimes you want to be careful, especially if you have a headset. Like I hear this guy down there right now. So I'm just, I'm waiting because I hear him just rummaging around down there. He knows I've got the Claymore set. And right there he gets it to blow up. Peeks his head out. You know. Nothing going there, but end up outsmarting him. He thinks he's going to rush up on me. But nope. Pick up the scavenger, plant the claymore. Pop my predator. I believe I get another double right here. Because, yeah, they're all... I don't know why people love it over there on that little platform so much, but teams always seem to get bunched up over there. I was hoping I'd get a nice little barrier here, but I think I get maybe one with a ball on the plane. I want to say they shoot it down again. I don't even know if I get another one off of it. But, uh, yeah, I know I've got my back watched. I know they're over here, and I, I see that guy under the bridge. I didn't see him at first. I see him now. Even in my little preview screen, I can see him. I don't know why I miss stuff like that sometimes. But this guy over there in that window, luckily my teammate picks him off, and then he gets taken out from somewhere here in a second. But, uh... I'm, I'm definitely, you know, I'm more cautious. I know they're over there, but I don't just want to stick my neck out because I know I'm, what, three, three kills off my AC-130, I believe. So, you know, there's only nine or ten kills left in the game, but still, I'd like to get in another AC-130, which I do end up doing is I pick this guy off, and I saw someone to the right out of my peripheral, so I come back over here, pick him off, and there's my second AC-130. And I believe I get... I don't know. I get a nice little triple right here. That's what I got at the start. I get two. I get a triple at the start of both my AC-130s, and then they're pretty much fail from there. Picking up one here or there. I'm just not that comfortable with it yet, but it'll come. You know, with more practice. I got my thousand kill achievement with my chopper gunner, so I'm pretty much done with that, except when I'm exclusively going for nukes or trying to pick up quick nukes or something, but... Uh, this game's wrapping up. I think there's a final kill right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, you know, like, sub up. I'll be back very soon with uh, some more nukes. And I've got some more TDM gameplays a lot like this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been I Will Merc You. And I will see you guys again soon.